Hey everyone, it's John Fowler here. I hope you're all well. Uh, I've been meaning to do this review for several weeks now, um, and for various reasons, being out in the van, learning a lot, working a lot, I just haven't got around to doing it. And um, I, I want to use these shoes tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, this today is the day of um, uh, Storm Kieran, and I'm in this cottage down on the Cornwall coast, so sort of quite near Loo. And I want to do the run tomorrow. It's going to be really wet and muddy. Uh, I have got some other shoes that would be quite good for it, for it, but I think these would be the best ones that I have. And I have quite a lot of shoes that I, I have in rotation at the moment. So it's these. There's a lot of hype around these VJ shoes. These, these are the VJ Extrem 2s. Um, they are a kind of, they do, VJ do it like a very minimal sort of trail shoe, they do a, a sort of ultra shoe which has a slightly weird rock on it which I can't get on with. And this this sits in between. It's something a bit bit like a kind of rock like 290 by Innovate, that sort of thing. Slightly more padded. Um, they've got really good studs on the bottom. You can see them there. Um, so they they are really good in the mud. Um, they have a they feel to me as though they have a bit of stability in them. When you're running, especially if you hit a, like a road section, they're still very comfortable on the road and it feels as though they're kind of propelling or directing you forward. There's definitely a little bit of some sort of control in there. I think it might have a rock play in there or something. Um, I'm not going to go into all the technical details. If you want to go have look them up, go and have a look on the website. Um, but they do have a, a really durable upper as well. Um, and they're pretty comfortable to run in. I bought mine from um, the Joe Brown Climber Shop in Ambleside. They cost me about 145 quid. Uh, and um, yeah, so the main thing about these is there's a lot of hype about the stickiness of the rubber. And, and actually, as I'm sort of like tweaking the, the studs on the bottom there, you might be able to hear that. They, they feel tacky. Um, and so they're purported to be extremely uh, good on wet rock. Um, and uh, the guys in the Joe Brown shop, they basically sold them to me as a kind of fell running shoe when I first got up into the Lake District. Um, uh, yeah, so I feel qualified to give a fairly decent review on this. It's gonna be short and sweet and quite to the point really. Uh, and the reason is because I have these. They're quite worn down now. Uh, I checked on Strava this morning and I've done, I think it's 235 miles in them of basically mainly running around the, um, the fells in the Lake District and mountains in Scotland. Um, I did a lot of stuff in Glen Coe, uh, Glen Brittle. If you check out my other videos, you'll see a lot of them. Uh, a lot of the Scottish stuff is still to be edited yet. But if you keep an eye on those, you'll see me running in these all the time. Um, so this does fall down and I can confirm that they are incredible on wet rock. And the first couple of times I ran in them, I was staying at the National Trust Langdale uh, campsite and I was sort of getting a feel for running in the fells up and down the valley. And I stumbled in them twice in the first few runs, not because they slipped, but because when my foot landed on something, uh, like a piece of wet rock, I was sort of convinced that my foot was going to slip. And so therefore I kind of allowed my body to kind of go with what I thought was going to be a slip. And they didn't slip, they gripped. Uh, so it took a while to tune, tune into them. But once you get confidence in them, they are <laughs> incredible. And in the end, um, the first time I actually slipped in them, I stopped and went back to look at what it was and it was wet rock with lichen on it and sheep shit and that was what became the threshold for these but other than that they've been absolutely incredible they're they're great when you um, get onto the road as well for short road sections um, they feel pretty quick to run in they're quite light um, yeah uh, they do when I first tried them on they did appear to be quite narrow uh, at the front but I've got quite wide feet, but they've been absolutely fine. They, they surprised me. I put them on and thought, oh no, these are going to be too narrow. And they were great. They've been absolutely fine. They are comfortable. I've done runs up to about 18 miles. If you do, if you run about, you know, if, I wouldn't want to do a massive amount of road running in them, to be honest. 
but and I have found after about kind of 14 to 16 miles of kind of running around the mountains if you have to do a section on the road at the end my feet started feeling a little bit uncomfortable in them probably because they were tired but just because I don't know they're, they're not designed for that they're designed for kind of further mountain running use but um yeah I mean I'm not I don't really have too much more to say other than I've done 230 miles in them they are they're still fine for running on like gravelly stuff but I've just noticed uh, a couple of days ago I ran a bit of southwest coast path and they were starting to slip because the studs have gone on them so it's one of the main reasons I want to do this now is because I want to wear these when I go running tomorrow and it's going to be really shitty so um, I would really highly recommend uh, checking out VJ shoes if you run mountains and fells just go and check these out um, I think if if they fit your foot shape I don't I don't think you could go far wrong with getting a pair of these and uh, I'll show you the nice ones yeah I don't think you could really go far wrong getting a pair of these if you're into like fell and mountain running or trail running they're a fairly good all-round shoe they they feel they feel quite similar to, to running in a like as I said like a a rock like 290 by Innovate or something like that but um I prefer them they are the, my go sh go shoe go to <laughs> they are my go-to shoe now um so yeah go and check them out go and I would try them on if they if they fit your feet uh I would highly recommend you trying them out so yeah uh so it's a brief brief review straight to the point but I like I said, I've done 230 odd miles in them of, of mainly mountain trail and, and fell running and uh, I, I absolutely love them. And uh, yeah, I hope you do too. Okay, cheers.